Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install these Titan Chain Twist Link Snow tire chains on our 2022 Toyota Tacoma. These are going to be on tire size 265, 70, 16. Make sure you check our fit guide on our website to get the right fit for your tires. Also, we have them on the rear axle as per the owner's manual. Also, make sure you double check that to make sure you're getting the chains on the right tire. But these twist link chains are going to be useful for you if you live in an area that gets a decent amount of moderate conditions, maybe some deep snow or some occasional ice. They can also be used for mud. They're going to keep a little bit more of a low profile, so let's check out how they work. The chains are going to be a ladder pattern, which means they go straight across our tire parallel to one another. Typically that helps a lot more with starting and stopping. They're going to be a little bit more high profile than some other options, but they're kind of an in-between option and they're going to be more low profile than just traditional square links. So while they do help with starting and stopping, they're going to be a little bit less of a bumpy ride than those square link chains, just because they twist into one another and they make that a little bit of an easier process. They're going to be made of a low carbon steel, which might not hold up quite as well as some of the other alloy chains, but they're still going to get you through a season or two at least. The chains do come two to a set and this pretty lightweight cloth bag. It's got a little bit of a plastic liner inside, but it doesn't do a whole lot as far as preventing the chains from poking through after not a very long time. And it's not really gonna hold up very well against the chains being used or the weather that you're using them in. So if you do get these chains, we recommend picking up some kind of plastic tote to keep them in, just to keep the chains more secure and to keep the weather out. As far as the installation process goes, there's only two connections to be made, so it's pretty straightforward and you can check out how we did that right now. First thing we like to do is to lay the chains out flat. We just want to make sure that nothing is caught up or twisted or tangled. We also want to make sure that this hook is on the side facing us because we will have to work with that after we make our connection and we want to make sure that the chains are facing the right way. To do that, we just look at these large hoops at the end of each set of links. We want to make sure that this flat side is the side facing down or the side that's going to make contact with the tread of our tire. We just don't want these pointed hooks making any contact with our tread. Once we have everything figured out and centered up, we can drape our chains over our tire. I'll just grab a couple of these intersecting links in the back and start that process. Just doing my best to make sure that everything is equal side to side and front to back as best I can. It's just going to make my life a little bit easier once we get to the first connection that we'll make on the back side. With these chains, we don't have a ton of flexibility as far as how much tension we can get. So we want to get as far on this back link as we can. So I'm actually going to go for the fourth link, just fitting that hook into that loose link on the other side. We can come back and adjust it in a second if we need to. Now for our front connection, we're going to be using that lever that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to fit it through the fourth loose link in our case, just because we do have kind of a loose fit. So I'll just fit it in right through here. And then I will lever it backwards and fit it into that loose link to hold it on the other side, just like that. When you get those connections taken care of, that's really the only tension we're going to be able to get into our chains. So we recommend picking up one of these rubber tensioners, just going in our case from top to bottom, then left to right, and repeating that process for the top part just because as you're driving, things tend to shift around. And this is gonna help keep those chains from moving around too terribly much and keep everything nice and secure. Once you have that tensioner in place, make sure you get the chains installed on your passenger side tire as well. Roll forward or backwards just a few times to make sure that everything is secure and in place and then you're ready to hit the road. Overall, these Titan Chain Twist Link tire chains are going to be sort of an in-between option between some of the smaller, more low-profile, more coverage chains and the larger square links or maybe some with V-bars that are going to get you a lot more bite into heavier ice and snow conditions. So if you want that bite into deep snow and ice but you don't want that super high-profile feel, these are a great choice. If you do want a little bit more aggressive, go with a square or V-bar. Or if you want a little bit more coverage, check out some of Koenig's self-tensioning options. That way you don't have to pick up the rubber tensioner. But I think these are still a really good choice and a really solid fit. This, is in, this again was just a quick look at the Titan Chain Twist Link Snow Tire Chains on our 2022 Toyota Tacoma.